So when I first signed up for Uber, um, I figured it's going to be a lot on my car. And I just want to put the disclaimer too, if you guys have been following me or if you're new. Um, I've been doing Uber Eats for about two years now. And I make videos on Uber Eats like advice, tips, and, and tricks and stuff in my experience. And I'm not taking back anything that I've said in the past. I know I've been saying too that like I'm starting to slow down and move on to other things, which is absolutely true. But, you know, over time, like, you just, you learn more, you experience more, and my experience with Uber has definitely been changing. So, as I said, going into it, you know, I knew it was, it was going to beat up my car a little bit. I have a Toyota Corolla, so, like, it's not like it's a Beamer or Mercedes, so, like, it's okay. It's okay if it gets beat up a little bit. It's, it's a car. It's replaceable. Um, but I have been doing Uber Eats, like, super full-time. I just... Um, a lot of my other jobs were slow. I just had a lot of things I needed, a lot of income. So I was working a lot. So if you're doing Uber part-time or even full-time, just not a crazy amount of hours, it's it's going to be okay. Like your car will get some wear and tear, but it'll be more gradual over time. For me, I just, I was doing it a lot, a lot on a very regular basis. And I find that it just beats up my car a lot faster. So my car has a ton of miles on it to the point where even if I wanted to sell it, I don't think it would be worth very much. Um, just a lot of little things here and there have been breaking. I have to replace it. I already had to do my brakes, like the whole braking system, brake pads, rotors. I had to do it twice in a six-month period. Like, I had to replace them twice. And brakes are expensive, you guys. If you guys have done brakes before, they're really expensive. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know how... I'm going through brakes so fast. Tires, I can't tell you guys the amount of tires. You have to change your oil all the time. Um, and it's just, the car runs. It runs really well. You know, it's it's a little beat up, but like it, it does work. Um, Toyota Corolla, like they just, they go on forever. They're great cars, but it's definitely making some noises. It's not, it's smooth, but not as smooth as it used to be. It's just, it's definitely, Uber's been definitely taking a toll on my car and as I, I've said too, like, I just, I was working a lot, a lot, a lot. So everybody's experience is different. Everyone's car is different. But I'm just kind of like, all right, I definitely need a change because this is just, it's becoming too much. Um, I feel like I'm starting to go in circles again, just like in my personal life. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready to make moves. I'm ready to move on to other things. But yeah, it's... I, I do have to put that out there that it has really beat up my car and it's kind of getting to the point for me where it's not really worth it anymore. Um, this might not be the same thing for everyone and I don't want to discourage anyone. It's just I, I need to be honest about my experience with it and yeah, my, my car has definitely been taking taking a lot from this. So recently I went to test my car for emissions because in Connecticut you have to do it every two years. and. My car didn't pass. This is the first time it hasn't passed. Um, I need a new Cadillac converter. And I've heard that before, like that part, piece, whatever it is. But I, I have no idea what it takes to replace it, fix it, how much is it. So I went and got it quoted and <laughs> it's expensive. It's very expensive. Yeah, so that kind of just made me sit back and look at the bigger picture and just think, is, is this worth it anymore? Like. Is, is it time? Is, it, is, is this it for me with Uber? Because I don't know. I don't know if I can just take all these repairs and stuff. Like over the past year, I've really been putting a lot of money into my car. I still would profit. I would still make money. But for me right now, Uber's just been really slow. It hasn't been consistent. I have to work a long time to make what I was used to making before in less time. Um, it's just, it's been a lot. And to add all the issues with my car on top of it and have to constantly repair it and put money into the car. It's like, I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm not profiting as much, if at all. Luckily, my other jobs have picked up, so I do have other work, but I'm thinking, you know, it might be time to put something in the place of Uber. Like, I still have it for now if I need occasional money here and there, but yeah, it's, my, my car's hurting right now. <laughs> I'm going to be real. It's it's hurting. Um, I have had the car for six years now. So it is it is getting up there. Um, this car is a 2012. And 
I, I do consider that a little bit newer, but I find that they don't make new cars as good as old cars. I, I don't know if you guys agree with me. I've had other people say the same thing, like mechanics, people who work on cars all the time. They just, they make them so cheap now, and I feel like it's almost a scam. Like, they want to just make the car fall apart easier so that they can get us to spend more money. That's so messed up, you know. I had a 96 Corolla before this one, and that thing was a beast. I mean, you know, it had its kings, things that I had to fix here and there, but overall... I think this car has been giving me more headache, more of a headache than that one. That one, the whole exhaust actually fell off at one point. I mean, I, I got a new one, but it just fell off. And that was probably the biggest issue that I had with that one. But yeah, this one is just, I feel like they make it kind of cheap. And, you know, I've had my family and stuff make fun of me for what my car looks like. Because it's a little banged up on the outside. But I'm just like, if a car works, I don't really care what it looks like. It's just, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to invest on just the physical appearance of it. And it's it's not that bad. Like, it works. The door's open. The windows. Everything's cool. So, I don't mind. I don't mind it looking a little banged up. But there were things that weren't my fault. Like, um, this car is the Sport. The S. The Sport version. So, it had a Sport kit on it. So, it had like, um, you know, it's got a spoiler. Which I love the spoiler. It has like detailing and stuff on, on the bottom. And most of those pieces have fallen off now. Like, they just literally fell off. I mean, I'm sure I, I bumped a few curves and stuff. Like, it happens. But there's things like, come on. That it just wasn't my fault. Or like, when the snow gets really bad and it piles up underneath the car like it weighs some of the vinyl and the plastic pieces on the bottom down and I've actually had to like go under and zip tie them because I needed some way to secure them because they were dragging on the ground um and I don't really blame uber for this uber driving for uber just made a lot of the issues come faster because I've been driving so much it just it beats up the car faster like I think these are things that probably would have happened over time but it probably would have took a longer time if I wasn't driving so much. So, yeah. Yeah, that's my recent experience of uh, being a driver for Uber Eats. So, I used to do Uber passengers, um, but then I switched over to just do food delivery. So, I just prefer it. Um, yeah, it's it's been a lot on my car. I'm kind of over it. I'm just going to be honest. But... Uh, if you are looking to do it, if you are doing it now, um, I would definitely just... Be mindful of the car you're going to use to do it. Um, even maybe investing in a rental. I know some people do that. It just it depends on your market, how much you work, how much you make. Like It could be worth it to get a rental. I'm looking at how much I'm spending on repairs and stuff. I'm like, I should have just done this with a rental. But yeah, it's. I think it's time for me <laughs> to try other things. But yeah, that's. I just wanted to be real with you guys and give you guys an update on my Uber Eats life. Um, I've definitely been working less. I'm still working, but way, way less for Uber. It's just, it hasn't been good. Even the times that I do try to work, it just it hasn't been not as good as it was in the past. So, anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.